Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I have got um, a very quick bow tutorial that kind of came about while rummaging through my desk drawer. Now, if you've seen the annual catalogue or you're a, a follower of YouTube, you will have seen the bows that, or the paperclip bows that are on page 152, which is where the designer series paper stacks are. And as soon as we got um, to see you know, the catalogue, you know, demonstrators all over the place, we're going, oh, those are amazing, how are they done? And there are lots of videos and YouTubes popping up all over the place. Now, I like them, or actually I love them. For me, they're a little bit labour intensive. It's an awful lot of trimming and slicing and folding and fiddling. And that's just not me. If you get to know me, you'll know that I'm actually an incredibly lazy crafter. And if I could do something quickly, but make it look gorgeous, then I will. So I wanted to do my own version. And while I was looking for paper clips in my desk drawer, which I haven't found, um, I came up with a load of these that I had. Um, I don't know when I've had them for or what project I bought them for because I don't use binder clips of this size. I use little miniature ones for, you know, for clamping things down. But I kind of thought, well, you know, I haven't got any paper clips, but I've got binder clips. And this is what I came up with, little sort of placeholders. I will stand it up, although obviously because the camera is up there and it's vertical down on this you can't see that it's standing up but that's how it would stand now I've already made a couple in the gingham garden paper I've done one for S for Sam C for Christopher who is my husband and I'm going to do an O for Oliver because you know we do fun things like putting place cards up at our dinner table just because it's a Tuesday evening that's what we do you should see us as Christmas with bonkers so I'm going to do one for him, for Oliver, because it's usually it's just the three of us who are around at lunchtimes if, if my husband isn't working. So, very simple. It's punches, basically. It needs the extra large oval and the large oval. Um, it's basically, you need two of each for each half of the bow. And if you're using a pattern paper, make sure that your bows are going to go in the same direction. Um, I'm also going to be using the Pear Pizzazz ink. So I want to make sure I've got enough of this Pear Bazaar's colour showing and then put that up so that's in the middle two of those and that's that done with put that out of the way and then mini glue dots I have found are the best to hold this down and actually we need to manipulate these so taking your bone folder just curl it very slightly so that you're not going to crack the paper or risk bending it. So I'm folding, I'm, I'm doing this with the pattern on the top that I want. And then the mini glue dots. We have one in one on one end. I don't know if you can see that. So I'll do all four of them. Well, I've got the glue dots in my hand and then oops oh that's attached itself to me and then you fold and pinch just there so that's one half of your bow and the same there and the same there and then a glue dot just onto one side of this because they layer over each other. And obviously make sure you've got your patterns the right way up. And oh, that was popped open. Same here. And again, make sure that your patterns line up. And then we'll need a glue dot in the middle there, so that's the middle of the bow, and then what you need to do, oops I've just pinched that one shut, you sort of fold it so it goes like that, so that when it fits, if I can hold this so that you can see it, when it fits in the bow, you're not squishing it. There we go, so that's all in place, and then the binder clip, as you can see bits stick out so you can't be sticking your glue dots on there it just won't work so I'm just going to pick up one and put it there As you can see this is the, the hinge part 
another one, oops, another one there, one in the middle, it doesn't want to come off my piercing tool, <gasps> come on play, it doesn't want to play, we'll forget that one, and then making sure your, your bow isn't going to fall off the bottom, lay it on, use a pen or something, something narrow just to stick it down, make sure it's well stuck to that glue dot. And then whatever you want to go in the middle, the very first one I made, I actually made using some old designer series paper and I put one of the um, uh, in colour embellishments in it. But I haven't got the right one in Pear Pizzazz, they're on the way tomorrow. So I just grabbed um, one of the large jewels, uh, large jewels, large pearls, popped it in the middle. And then the letter, I've got the Morning Post, the new, um, it's not new actually, it's new to me, it's um, uh, an alphabet set that I've chosen to replace um, my notable alphabet, no, my lovely letters alphabet, which um, retired. I'm very sad to see it go, but you know what? I love this one almost as much. This is only the second time I've used it. So, right. I'm going to use the same large oval punch as I used before, but I want to have a bit more at the bottom because that's actually going to sit in the binder clip a bit. Grab another pearl, stick that at the top for O for Oliver, and then it literally slides between those bits there. And that, oh, I could spell things there, maybe I won't spell sock. That is my very quick and easy bow. So it's super, super easy, um, and you can make loads of them in minutes. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you don't want to know how to get hold of anything, you know where to come. My details are all at the bottom, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.